Hi again, uh, Kevin Hicks here. I had an opportunity this week to interview Mr. Jeff Jensen, who's the uh, Southwest Field Staff Rep for GCSAA. Uh, I wanted him on for, for uh, to discuss some of the issues uh, that his chapters are dealing with uh, with respect to water rights. Um, but we covered a range of topics. It was a really great conversation. And uh, here's just a little snippet of, of what we covered, and I uh, hope you enjoy the podcast. Um, give a summary of the most pressing issues in your region. And, you know, you could either end it right now and say water or, <laughs> or maybe dive into some details. But, um, you know, obviously uh, your entire region is is dependent upon the Colorado River Basin and, and you know, what reservoirs that feeds. But what, in your opinion, in your experience, what are the I mean, it's it's such a broad topic, but what are the most pressing pressing issues as it relates to the golf industry right now? Well, as it relates to the golf industry overall, obviously the Southwest, I do think water is our number one issue right now. Um, and we'll get into that a little bit more here in the conversation. Yeah. But uh, obviously we have pressing issues along the Colorado River Basin, uh, which not only includes my region, it also includes the upper basin states, Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, right. New Mexico as well. Um, and even Mexico, the country actually as well as part of the, uh, you know, Colorado River, uh, you know, accord there as well. So that's, a, you know, a huge pressing issue there. California is a little bit more different as it is, does use Colorado River water in the southern part of the state, but also uh, um, most of their, uh, you know, water comes from the Sierra runoff, uh, the snowpack up in the Sierras. So a little bit different hydraulic, uh, you know, conditions uh, there. But uh, again, water is a pressing issue, but Another, you know, big pressing issue is it golf's under a lot of pressure. Uh, you know, it's seen specifically in California, I think more than anywhere in my region. But, you know, we're seen as a somebody who uses some large tracts of land um, that some people uh, feel, you know, use a lot of natural resources and not enough people playing on those pieces of land. Yeah. Um, so we have what I would consider maybe a, an open space problem. Um you know, it's obviously a very liberal state, California. Um, there's a lot of people who would like to turn our golf courses into other uses, uh, right. which they might be more beneficial to them. Uh, you now, some of those could be green space uses, parks, ball fields, uh, whatever else they may be. But they're also, uh, you know, affordable housing uh, projects on golf courses is, a, is something that came up last year. There was actually a bill, uh, AB 1910, uh, which uh, would have incentivized uh, local municipalities to turn their golf courses uh, into affordable housing sites while waiving the uh, California Environmental Quality Act uh, and a lot of permits uh, for builders who wanted to come in, making it easier for them to build on those facilities. Um, and, and that's a big issue. And it's actually not only an issue in California. There have been several instances of this on the East Coast recently as well. Yeah.